Hi guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna to take our new rock and roll shuffle chords um, and the rhythms that we've learned and apply them to a 12 bar structure. So rock and roll is basically just blues, okay? And it's a 12 bar structure that was born from the blues. So we can apply all the blues concepts that we've learned up to now. So if you've studied any of the blues stuff on the beginners courses, then you'll be quite aware of this, but there's basically a 12 bar structure that can pretty much apply to every single blues or rock and roll track. You might just need to make a few slight variations. And that structure looks a little something like this. So I'm gonna play through it here, okay, with the drum beat, and I'm gonna play through it in the key of B flat. And we'll talk about that in a minute, okay? Now I'm gonna play through at a bit of a pace. Um, I'm gonna go at 100 BPM, so I'm not too fast. And this is the whole 12 bar structure, okay? And I'm gonna go after four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's your 12 bar track that we're gonna be learning. Now, what I wanna show you is this idea of a one, four, five progression. Now, theoretically, that means that in, in the key, you take your first chord, your fourth chord, and your fifth chord. Now, that's something that we cover in the theory section over in a different part of the site, so please check that out if you're interested in the theory. Otherwise, in terms of practicality, basically, a one, four, five progression will always look like this, okay? And what we do is we take the power chord, so we did this in the key of B flat. So we found the B flat. So that's the sixth fret with my first finger of the E string. Now that's the one chord because that's the, the key. The chord of the key is the one chord. Now, then we're gonna go down to the four chord and it's always one down. So we go down to the strings below and that will give us our four chord, always. Okay, the five chord is then always two frets along, and that gets us to our five chord. So on a guitar, it's always this little pattern, I call it a little L shape. Okay, so we go down, across, and then we come back. That's our little L shape pattern, okay? Now, all we then need to know is what order to do the chords in, okay? So here's your 12 bar structure. We do the first chord for four bars in a rock and roll track, typically a four bar progression. So that would be like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay? So then we'd go to the four chord and we're gonna do that one for two bars. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we're coming back to the one chord for two bars. Then we're going to the five chord. So remember that's down and across for one bar. Then the four chord for one bar. And then the one chord for two bars. That's where the blues and rock and roll often differ. In the blues, you'll normally have some kind of... Some kind of turnaround like that. But in rock and roll, you typically don't really do the turnaround. You just stick on the one chord and then start all over again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my drum beat back on, but this time slower. So I'm gonna roll back down to 80 BPM. And I'm gonna go through that and I'm gonna talk through the bars. And then we just need to learn this pattern. So I'm gonna talk it through in terms of one chord, four chord, five chord, not B flat, E flat, F. These chords are obviously B flat, E flat, and F, but I'm just gonna talk through it in terms of theory, in terms of numbers of the chords in the key. So, here's the drum beat. And here we go, I'm gonna go through it after four. One, two, three, we start on the one chord. One, two, three, four bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then the four chord for two bars. Two, Three, four, one, two, three, four. Then back to the one chord for two bars. Then the five chord for one bar. 
the four chord for one bar and back to the one chord for two bars. And then it would start all over again. Okay? So when it does start all over again, you end up being on that one chord for a lot, six bars basically, because you start and do the four bars again at the beginning. But we'll get to that when we practice the song in the next lesson. So that's really it. So there's your 12 bar structure that's very applicable to rock and roll specifically. We've got the chord movement, okay? And now, as a last note, the final thing to understand is that depending on what key I throw at you, you can do this now in any key. Okay, so for example, let's do it in G. So let's say we've got a 12 bar in G and we need to do the same thing. Well, we need to find the G on the E string first. So there's a G here, okay? I'll break my power chord. I now know that my four chord is gonna be down one and my five chord is across two frets. So now I can do a 12 bar in G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bit more of a stretch in G. Please try it with me, guys. C. So that's the four chord. And then back to the one chord. And then the five chord. To the four chord. To the one chord. And then we start again. And around and around we go. So you can do it at any key. Um, the only, as it gets higher and higher up the neck, then it becomes obviously tighter and tighter. And gradually we can actually learn other ways to play it so that we don't have to rely on this technique. But for now, this is definitely the way to do it. It means that very, very quickly, if you're doing a blues jam or you're getting up and playing with other, other guys or whatever, then just knowing that you can quickly find your way through a 12 bar in a rock and roll fashion is gonna help you no end. So, have some fun with that, get that learned, and next time we're gonna look at our rock and roll song. Thank you.